New at five, doorbell video shows a group shooting up a DeKalb County home with three people inside. You just heard the barrage of bullets. Amazingly, nobody was hurt, but the group returned to riddle the house with more bullets. Alex Whitler is near Lithonia with the latest from police. Every glad to slap yourself for ever believing that sons were scared of cops. <laughs> I think so. It's, it's hopeless. Yo, yo, five seconds to go ahead and slap yourself. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. How do you? How did you ever believe it? Like, my God! Like nobody was hurt, but the group returned to riddle the house with even more bullets. Says Alex Whitler is near Lithonia with the latest from police and why the mother of that says this feels intentional. I was watching TV. Next thing you know, you hear. Bullets, you hear gunfire. Damn. Wow, rapid gunfire May 19th. It lit up the stretch of Aberdeen Way, leaving about 30 bullet holes in Nicole Alexander's home. Somehow, no one was hurt as Alexander, her boyfriend, and her teenage son were home. Every last one of them was shooting. It was four young black guys, and all four had guns. <laughs> and whoa, them. whoa, take it easy, sister. <laughs> Smash. Yeah, she got a wake up call. Every man. now and then you get one of these red hair sisters that'll say it like it is. Yeah, you see this so there to get away from them. And, the, and the, people that, the people that cringe the most when they heard that description was gliders. What? Of of gliders. Yeah, and of course, they, of course, they're probably not putting a lot of these real talk sisters on camera either. So. Exactly. I, I, they must have got through. Why somebody fuck, Someone got fired for this one. Man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Gladys is some Gladys trying to like tell her what the real problem is. That is, you know, that you know. I mean, even though you know your home got shot at, you need to um, look at it like this. Or um, it, it's a it's an opportunity for you to see what you can do to you know um, help help some of these sun teens because you or. Fuck, or <laughs> yeah. or, or, or this neighborhood was uh, part of the redlining in back in 1947. Yeah, redlining was a safety <laughs> procedure. They probably told her, but did you die, though? And was shooting. It was four young black guys, and all four had guns, and all four were shooting at my house. That mother says that shooting feels targeted because surveillance video shows multiple people shooting at that bedroom window from across the driveway. Then 10 days later, they returned again to shoot at it from the roadway. Ten days later, a similar scene caught on camera as once again four young men part of a red four door. Look, as this time there's a second. And this is what they live for. This is what they live for. Everything they do is for this. They steal your car for this. They fucking um the girl they're fucking is fucking her because they do shit like this. This is um, their raps are about this. They burglarize your home for this. Yeah, they look for your car at night for this. Everything, this this is a huge, like, think about it, man. Those sun teens that just did this shit got balls as big as fucking goddamn soccer balls now in their mind. They walk the streets with energy like, yeah, I'm a shooter. Yeah, I shoot, I bust my gun. And they walk the streets with that energy now. They can tell stories um, about having shot something or shot at something. They can, they can, you know, walk like, yeah, you know, you know, what's it like, you know, down with the whole boy. Yeah, this, this is this stuff right here is 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 is, is, is kind of like makes them somebody, man. It's, it's currency. Somebody. Yeah, when you meet somebody. And and if it, 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 when when their little friends meet somebody, and they say, "Yeah, you know so and so," they're like, "Yeah, so and so, yeah, he a real nigga." That's they love that feeling, you know what I'm saying? Right. Called, you know, this, this is like, like this is like a like, um, this is like tigers, it, it, uh, tigers bragging, man. I got straight A's. Yeah, it's it, it's like a drug addict. How uh, the more drugs they do, the more resistance they have. To, to get the higher high, so they need more and more and more. 
this is the, this is their graduation. Like you know, they probably start off small criminal, small time stuff, and now they're kind of they don't get that same high. Now they now they're getting a high by doing this type of stuff. The, they get more and more violent. Yeah, but that too. But it's also like in their world, in their community, being a shooter is like, yo, you like the shit. Like you'll bust your gun. People will. People who aren't shooters, people who are not in that street life, look up to you in black community. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you somebody. You yeah. somebody. Yo, yo I lo loading up that gun was more laborious than shooting up the house. Yeah. Yo, these people are, these kids have, um, they got stripes now, man. Um, and then they're going to keep doing it, and it feels good. They're going to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it until they kill somebody, and then they'll stop because they go to jail. Or they get caught. Before they pepper yeah. the home with bullets. Two times a week. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. What could that be about? I have no idea. But looking at the camera footage, they look young, and I do have a teenage son, so I um which which they they shot at the same room both times um whose room is that like why our sister's so fucking dumb she hasn't put it together yet yo listen if i fucking came outside there's a piece of litter in my trash i mean in, in my fucking yard and i saw some sun teens walking by i'd be like yo i'd be trying to figure out which one of the fucking sun teens just dropped that litter in my yard she had her fucking house shot up twice in, the, in in 10 days. The same both times, the same room, both times, the same fucking guys. And they ask her, what could this be about? And she says she doesn't fucking know. <laughs> Yo, but don't let her care and micro aggress her, though. Right. Like, you don't know? You haven't talked to your son? He, is that his room that got shot up both times? What do you mean you don't know? Bullets. Two times in about a week. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. What could that be about? I have no idea. But looking at the camera footage, they look young. And I do have a teenage son, so I just automatically assume... Is something going on? I just don't know what's going on. DeKalb police say they're investigating, but so far... No How does she not know what's going on yet? <laughs> she let the floor to mom, Ike. She let the floor to mom. But to be fair to her, Ike, some kids do shoot up the wrong house often. No, I, I got that. But here's the thing. Not twice. Well, yeah, sometimes they do. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> right, I was about here's the thing, though. Your son, even if he lies to you, parents have a way of getting the truth out of their kids. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he's still your kid. Yeah, so, but we all know what a, what a son mom, one thing a son mom going to do is protect her son. Right. Guarantee, like, mm -hmm. above, oh, yeah, all, yeah. above yeah. all logic, above yeah. all everything else, one thing a black mother is going to do is protect yeah. her son. So, yeah, because, because if that wasn't the case, like, her her dialogue would be different. She would be like, "I don't know what's going on. My son got straight A's in school. He's in after school programs. I don't allow him to hang out with no other." That's what she would say mm -hmm. if that was if it was really I don't know. Yeah, but she said yo, I don't know and just move on like that. Yo, but if I was her, I I swear at they okay. We're at this point now, kid. You better go handle that. You did not go to school at my house. You better go take care of this. Yeah, man, you gotta, She's I, so I, calm I, about it. She's talking like uh, she's talking about some raccoons that went under her porch. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. I just automatically assume it's something going on. I just don't know what's going on. DeKalb police say they're investigating, but so far, no suspects are in custody. I want them off the streets, and I want them prosecuted for what they done because innocent people were put at risk for losing their lives. Alexander says if the shooters aimed for that bedroom twice, there's no stopping them from doing it again. Alex Whitler, Fox 5 News. Wow. Well, 